Sai Ram to you all. In this video, we will go ahead with our third second chapter is matter around us pure. In previous video, we have done compound, homogeneous mixture, heterogeneous mixture, these all things. In this video, we will go ahead with solution and suspension. Before going to start solution and suspension, just try to understand these terms solute and solvent. These are very important terms for understanding solution, suspension and collides. So let us start. What do you mean by solute? The substance which is dissolved in liquid to make a solution is called solute. What is solute? The substance which you are dissolving is called solute and in which you are dissolving is known as solvent. Clear? Take example of sugar and water. You are dissolving sugar in water. So your sugar is solute and your water is solvent because you are dissolving sugar in water. So those substance which you are dissolved is known as solute and in which you are dissolving is known as your solvent. So what is the definition of solute and solvent? The substance which is dissolved in a liquid to make a solution is called solute and the liquid in which solute is dissolved is known as your solvent. Clear? Now the solute particles are also called dispersed particles because they will dispersed. The solute particle is also known as your dispersed particles and solvent are also known as a dispersion medium. Your solute particle is known as your dispersed particle and solvent is known as your dispersion medium. Clear? Now the solute made by dissolving various solute in water are called aqueous solution. That means if you are taking solvent is water, that time that solution is known as aqueous solution. So those solution in which what water is your solvent is known as your aqueous solution. Clear? And the last one, the solution made by dissolving various solute in organic solvent. Instead of water, if you are taking organic solvent as a what? As a solvent, that time your solution is not known as a aqueous solution. That time it is known as your non-aqueous solution. That time it is known as your non-aqueous solution. So I am reading once more time. The substance which you are dissolved in a liquid is known as your solute. The liquid in which you are dissolving is known as your solvent. The solute particles are also called dispersed particles. Your solute particle is also called as your dispersed particle. And your solvent is also known as your dispersion medium. Your solvent is also known as dispersion medium. Now, the solution made by dissolving various solute in water are called aqueous solution. And those solution in which you are using organic solvent as a solvent, that type of solution is known as your non-aqueous solution. Is known as your non-aqueous solution. Clear? Now, let us start with solution. See, basically a solution is a homogeneous mixture of two or more substances. Homogeneous mixture means they will completely mix with each other. Homogeneous mixture means they, they will completely mix with each other. Clear? So, these are your called homogeneous mixture. Clear? These are called your homogeneous mixture. Clear? So, Homogeneous mixture is also known as the solutions. Example, salt solution, su sugar solution, vinegar, alloys, air. They all are your solution. Why? Because they are completely mixed with each other. You can't see the difference here. Clear? So, take one example. In first figure, you are say, uh, take one beaker. In that beaker, take water. And add some copper sulfate. Copper sulfate is blue in color. In second, 
picture you can see that when you will starting stir it stir stirring what will happen that copper sulfate start dissolving in it clear that copper sulfate particles start dissolving in the water and after and the color of water starting become blue light blue light blue light blue and after some time you will see that a whole copper sulfate dissolve in that water after some time what you will see you will see that that copper sulfate which you are dissolving with the help of stirrer it will complete dissolve in water and the color of water is entire change and it will become a blue dark blue water and you can't see the copper sulfate particles separately so this type of uh, mixture is known as your solution is known as your solution with this i think everything is clear to you everything is clear to you what are solution a solution is a homogeneous mixture of two or more substances example salt solution sugar solution vinegar alloys and air and i already give you example of copper sulfate one thing i want to ask you in previous video i told you what is the chemical name of vinegar and what is the common name of vinegar anybody knows common name is acetic acid and yeah uh, this thing chemical name is ethanoic acid the chemical name is acetic acid and your chemical name is ethanoic acid formula is CH3COOH clear now properties of solution now what we is there property of solution a solution is homogeneous mixture this thing there is i don't think so any clarification you want any description you want clear a solution is homogeneous mixture why they are homogeneous mixture because they are completely mixed with each other and the size of solute particles in a solution is extremely small it is extremely small and it is less than 1 nanometer in diameter so that much small in size so you can't see with the naked eye even with the help of microscope clear so the particle of solution pass through the filter so solution cannot be separated by filtration so first point is a solution is a homogeneous mixture your first point is a solution is a homogeneous mixture second the size of particles in a solution is extremely small the size of solute particle in a solution is extremely small so it is less than 1 nanometer in diameter that means it is that much small even you can't see with the naked eye and with the help of microscope the particle of solution cannot be see even with the microscope why because the size of solute particle is very very small clear the last one is the particle of solution pass through the filter paper so a solution cannot be separated by filtration a solution cannot be separated by a filtration So the solution are very stable the particle solute present in solution do not separate out on keeping clear you can't separate now a true solution does not scatter light scatter light means if you will pass a light the light the uh, there is no space between the particle so the light will not scattered clear the light will not scattered clear shall we move ahead now types of solution there are different types of solution first one is solution of solid in solid okay in which your solute is also solid and your solvent is also solid what are the metals alloy are the solution of solid in solid metal alloy means alloy are the mixture of different types of metal example brass is a solution of zinc and copper clear first type of solution is solid in a solid and uh, example are alloys and which alloy brass zinc and copper second solution of solid and liquid this is a most common type of solution solution in solid and liquid sugar solution salt solution when uh, these all are the example of solid and liquid type of solution next one solution of liquid and liquid your vinegar vinegar is your solution of acetic acid and water clear and it is a liquid and liquid type of solution clear now solution of gas and liquid your soda water 
that is carbon dioxide gas and water clear solution of gas and gas like argon carbon dioxide carbon dioxide uh, mixture of carbon plus oxygen so these all are the example of solution of gas and gas clear i am reading once more time listen carefully solution of solid in liquid metal alloys are the solution of solids in solids example brass is a solution of zinc in copper solution of solid in liquid this is the most common type of solution sugar solution and salt solution are the solution of solid are the examples of sol solution of solid in liquids now solution of liquid in liquid example is vinegar vinegar is a solution of acetic acid in water clear and both are liquid next one is solution of gas in a liquid soda water is a solution of carbon dioxide gas in water so this is a type of gas in liquid solution of gas in gas oxygen argon carbon dioxide water vapor these all are the example of solution of gas in gas now next move, move to uh, suspension what are suspension suspension is your heterogeneous mixture suspension is your heterogeneous mixture that means they are not completely mixed with each other they are not completely mixed with each other you can see the small particles of solid or you can say you can see the small particles of sol solute in a solvent so they are spread throughout the liquid without dissolving in it example chalk water muddy water if you will dissolve chalk in water is they mixed with each other is chalk is soluble in water no it will not mix with water so that type of solution is known as your suspension that type of mixture is known as your suspension clear if they are not mixed with each other you can see the solute particles in the solvent example chalk water mixture muddy water mixture etc see here chalk powder does not you, you will take a water when you will add chalk in that water and stir with the help of glass rod in third picture what you will see have you seen that chalk particle settle down at the bottom have you seen yes and these particle is this type of uh, mixture is known as your which type of mixture uh, suspension clear now a suspension is a heterogeneous mixture clear because it will not mix with each other properly the size of solute particle in a in a suspension is quite large and it is larger than 100 nanometer in diameter it is larger than 100 nanometer in a diameter and the particle of suspension do not pass through a filter paper so your suspension particle will yes you can separate the uh, solvent in solute uh, in a suspension by the help of filtration now the suspension particles are unstable when you will stir it they will again come at the above and after some time if you will not stir it it will settle down at the bottom so they are not stable okay and the particle of suspension settle down after some time clear a suspension sketches a light pass scatter the light here scatter will come if you pass through the light there is a space between the particles so you, that light will scatter clear i am reading once more a suspension is a homogeneous heterogeneous mixture in which the small particles of a solids are spread throughout a liquid without dissolving in it example chalk water mixture muddy water etc a suspension is a heterogeneous mixture the size of solute particle in a suspension is quite large it is larger than 100 nanometer in a diameter the particles of suspension can be seen easily the particles of suspension do not pass through a filter paper so filtration can be separated by so can be separated by filtration the suspension are unstable the particle of suspension settle down after some time a suspension stretches scatter a light passes through with this suspension is clear to you in this video what we have covered we have covered solution and suspension the solution is homogeneous mixture the suspension is heterogeneous mixture 
in that the particle size of solute is very small here the particle size are big as compared to solution and the particle size is less than uh, 10 nanometer uh, in diameter here the particle size is larger than 100 nanometer in diameter you can't separate solute and solvent with the help of filtration here you can separate solute and solvent with the help of filtration in that uh, lights can does not scatter here the light uh, scattered particles are stable here particles are unstable I think everything is clear to you now and in next video we will cover what we are going to cover we will cover collides what we are going to cover we are going to cover collides thank you and have a nice day